now one person. Welcome to my page. We're going to do a craft tonight. Say hello when you come on so we know that you're here. As promised, I was supposed to come on last night and I wasn't able to. Hey, Terry. So here we are. We are going to do, and bear with me, it's my first time doing a craft tutorial or craft live. So um, I'm going to be doing this along with you guys. So be kind if I slip up <laughs> or whatnot. So what we are going to do tonight is I had mentioned if you were here a couple nights ago and I was going through um, fun finds that I found at Dollar Tree, Michael's Hobby Lobby um, that you can make crafts with. I mentioned making a craft out of a turkey baster. Yes, a turkey baster. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Um, this is the one from Dollar Tree. And wouldn't you know it, I went to several other Dollar Trees and either people have seen the idea online and wiped them out or who knows, but I couldn't find any. Um, Hi guys, if you're just joining us, say hello so we know that you're here. So I picked a one up at Baker's or Kroger, um, which is like this, but what we're using of it, twist them off, we're using this bottom part for our craft. So the old fashioned, so we've got this one and I wanted more of these because I was going to make a longer um, sign going this way. And when I found this one, I thought, well, two different these are going to be planters become planters we can do two different planters so what you're going to end up needing is turkey baster base whatever you can find and our base or what we're Mil putting it on Milner. hi maggie art's here with me too maggie this is what i'm going to use to attach them to these i actually got i believe at mark michael's yeah art finds and this is like the four, about the four by six size or so. Um, again, whatever size you want, if you want to do a five by seven. So I'm using these. And you're going to need some miniature Jenga blocks. I've told you guys you can find these um, at Dollar Tree. That's the only place that I have found them. Um, they come, but we're going to need um, about 10 to 12 miniature Jenga blocks. You're going to need some popsicle sticks. You can get those at any craft store. You're going to need this. You can get it at Dollar Tree. We're going to need some nautical rope. I know it seems like a lot, guys, but it will all come together, I promise. This isn't a must, but some beads. These are wood beads that come natural. I get these on Amazon, and you stain them. I'm going to show you how to do all of that. And these, uh, I might be using two sizes. I'm going to use the 16 millimeter for sure. And I might mix in some of the 12 millimeters. So you'll need some of those. Kenzie is watching. Hi, Kenzie. Brown paint, just regular brown acrylic paint, black acrylic paint, white acrylic paint. Again, like I said, I obviously some paint brushes. I know it seems like a lot, guys, but I promise. Um, you're going to need a glue gun, of course, but I'll be adding some more things as we go along. I don't want to make it too overwhelming for everybody. Um, you can always go back, um, you know, during the replay um, and watch from the beginning when I go over the different ones. So this is what we're going to start with. We are making our turkey baster vases. So let me get... Miss Donna Norman Bessie is watching. Hi, Donna. She is a cousin. Okay, sorry. So I use wax paper, even though I have my table covered in the craft paper. Um, I tried to keep this as, you know, for several. I don't want to have to replace that every single time I'm crafting. So wax paper, again, you can get it for a buck, which is a really good deal at the Dollar Tree. Um, 65 square feet. So I do. In this, I rather go through a bunch, and I, I can crumple it up and throw it away. So. Miss Cassie is on here. Cassie! Hey, babe. How are you? That is my niece. I miss her, miss her. She was up visiting not too long ago, and I didn't get to see her in person. So this is where we have to do it, right? Okay, so we got our wax paper. So I'm going to start with showing you guys how to stain. An easy-peasy way to stain. You don't have to use wood stain. I've never stained anything in my life, but I learned from Amber Strong, her, who um, I watch all the time, um, check her out here um, on Facebook, is we are going to use our acrylic paint. And Trinity, I need to be able to see that, please. Okay, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I'll try to pin it later. And wipes. 
trust me, I know it sounds weird. Now you can use the baby wipes if you want to get them at Dollar Tree. Um, those, because of the type of fibers that they are, because they're for babies, they tend to shred and, and leave uh, loose fibers um, or that, you know, debris. So I use the Lysol. I know they can get expensive um, if you get them, and especially now they're kind of hard to find, but. Okay, you can use a cup if you want to, to put your paint in. I'm not going to, I will show you how I do it. It doesn't mean that that is the only way to do it. You may figure out. You also need a spray bottle. And this is why. Again, something else I have picked up and learned is you want to spray your wood. Not a lot. We're going to mist our, spray, our, our wood, any kind of wood that you're using. And the reason is, is that opens up the pores for the paint that we're going to use to opens it up so it'll absorb it more and it'll look more stained. I put my paint right on. Just join in us, guys. Pop on and say hi. You don't need much, just a little bit. Take your wipe, and I just kind of, you know, wrap it around my finger. You take your wipe, you've got your paint on there, you've already sprayed it so it's wet. Dip it in there, and you're going to start on the bottom. And you're just going to, even if it was a paintbrush, and you're going to make all of it. And don't worry if you put too much of a glob on it, or as you go, you're using the, that, that's just fine. We are going to, and your hands are going to get messy. If you don't want your hands to get messy, you can use gloves. My personal opinion is it's not a real craft if you don't get messy. Welcome, everybody. Say hello. Nancy Horan. Pop. Hi, Nancy. She's from church. Oh, okay. okay, so now we have it. You can use the same wipe. You can see right now it just looks like it, it doesn't really look stained. It's just wood. Here it's kind of starting to. So now you want to slide it across and take the excess off. That's why it didn't matter if you had too much on it. I try to go, you can go different ways if you want to for this first time. Come sometimes on the edge you have to because as you're wiping this way it gets collected on the edges. I might need another one. So see how it's coming off and it's starting to look more, I don't know if I can get a good decent picture, it's starting to look more like wood. Yeah, you can see try a different one. And you don't want to do too much. You can do it in different areas if you want to. You start wiping too much and you're going to take it off. Wiping a little bit there. Yes, Aunt Terry, sprinkle. Sprinkle, for those of you that maybe don't know what that is in the Facebook world now, you cannot see how it looks stained. It'll look, when we dry it, it'll look, so I'm going to do the same with this one. In the Facebook world, they no longer want us using the S-H-A-R-E word. And if you don't know um, the spell They consider that. it <laughs> spam. So we say sprinkle, we say float your boat. Um, we say rolled you out into Facebook. Um, maybe you can come up with some other ones. Those are ones that. So again, Debbie gonna... Berman, get this. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. Say hello when you pop on, guys. We are staining the wood that we're going to use with brown paint and wet wipes or cleaning wipes. Again, you're just going to brush back and forth. And again, you don't want to go over it too many times this first round because then you're going to get back down to whatever kind of wood that you're using. And when you go to wipe it again, not that you can't add. Now, if you didn't put too much enough paint, you can either add some more or put a little bit more water on there. It loosens it up. You see? And you can spread it out some more. So I hope everybody had a good Monday today. It actually wasn't too bad. Yes, it was. <laughs> the weather was nice. Yeah, coming from the one that has to go to school. The weather was nice here in the Midwest, in Nebraska. It, the sun was out, but it was chilly. We're still looking for those 50 and 60 degree temps. Okay. Now this one, I wouldn't go back and fix this because see how, for whatever reason, when I wiped it on this side here, if you can see it, yeah, 
it looks almost distressed or it looks, you know, weathered. That's that's what we want so it looks more stained. Now, oh, Patsy's on here. Hi, Patsy. Now, what I do because I don't want to wait. I even when I'm not on live, I don't want to wait. So I have my air dryer, my dryer. I'm gonna put it on the low one so it's not too. And I'm gonna dry these so it dries quicker. How's everyone doing? Cassie is my artist in the family too. I don't know if she's ever used one of these. As this starts to dry, guys, you'll see that it's getting more of that stained look to it. And it's not real hot. Mine doesn't have a temperature adjustment thing, so I have to be careful as far as how long I keep my hand on there. We want to dry this up so we don't have to. And I guess I could have set these aside to dry while we do our little vases. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Say hello when you pop on so we know you're here. We're going to be making a little shelf sitter or wall hanger using some wood and the base of a turkey baster, believe it or not. Okay, I think those are dry enough for now. So you can see they have a nice kind of stained finish to them. So I'm going to set those aside. Now we are going to, these are the two bases that we're going to use as vases from the bottom of our turkey basters. And for these, I'm going to go ahead and use these I get at Dollar Tree. You can get these a pack of 12 for a dollar, 12 of them, and I use them all the time, whether it's when I'm staining my beads or to put paint in, or you can either put it in there. I might need my new white one. We'll see how much comes out of this. Darlene Hansen and Stacy Dirks is on. Welcome, guys. Say hello when you come pop on so we know you're here. So we are going to... Now, this one you guys will be good doing right along with me because I'm not sure which will work better. My foam brush, which you can get a whole package of these at Dollar Tree, or, you know, my regular paintbrush um, because I'm doing this new right along with you guys. So I'm going to try. And if you have a hard time seeing, if you, um, if you don't know what, what I'm doing because the comments are in the way, if you swipe to the right, the comments will go off to crafts this spring yet or for Easter. Meg Han. Meg. Say hello. Who's Meg? Meg, Meg. Your god sister, Meg. Close, close god sister. Yes. Mom, Technically, she's your god sister, too. Hi, Megan. I miss For those her. of you that don't know, that is one of my daughters over here on the side helping me with camera and functions. Can you see me? Really? <laughs> Please stop. Okay. Okay, we don't really need to pay because this is going to be glued down. She said one could argue that they are the top of. Okay, really, Megan? <laughs> She's arguing whether or not that they could be the top. To me, where's the bottom of them? Did I put, where'd you put them, Coda? She said the turkey basin. I know what you're talking about. Here they are. Well, I'm kind of To me, they're the bottom. I don't know, you know, they go like this. And then when you turn them, they're the top. But we're not here to argue about that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know you can still see the, and that's okay. I may put another coat on these. I'm gonna set that one well, there for a minute. That's kind of what makes it look distressed. Yes, you're funny. <laughs> it won't be a craft if I don't get it on my clothes. This one's a kind of an oddly shaped, so we'll see how well it goes on. And Terry said, I wouldn't debate with you. With me or Megan? <laughs> I guess that's kind of like the, is the glass half full or half empty? <laughs> and I guess it's what kind of, uh, don't they say if you're right-brained or left-brained? Oh, knows? yeah. So I made my husband... She Art. said, Mama Mary thinks you're so cute. Oh, Mama Mary, I love you. <laughs> she popped out so quick. 
Dakota's over here smiling. <laughs> so they look a little bit more like this one reminded me a little bit of the uh, Mexican vases that they, you know. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Um, there's probably a name to them for them. Um, now this one. This red one, I'm probably going to end up put. I may end up putting a second coat on both of them. Cindy says, "Where are you finding your turkey basters?" Um, unfortunately, <laughs> Cindy, um, this one I did find at Dollar Tree, the traditional, you know, that was the black one, and I haven't been able to. Well, I didn't hit up any more of those Dollar Trees today and yesterday. Uh, my poor family tonight. My husband. He was run into several different and I couldn't find any more of those and I didn't have time to go the other end of town where I found that one. This one, the reason I went ahead and bought it is because I thought, well, we'd have two different style of vases. And this one I actually got at Baker's or Kroger. Um, it's a Kroger affiliate. So whatever you have in, in your hometown. This one has dried a li little bit. Well, not much. And Terry <laughs> says is, hold on, is either one of those basters holding the paint better than the other? Um, they seem to be holding it about the same. This is a thicker plastic. Yeah, that's a good question, Terry. And it's, I, I think it's about the same. Um, even though these are rubber, I want to just a little bit because they're damp enough. I want to be able to get another coat on it. I mean, I'm not going to do it a whole lot or hold it on there, but just enough to get it a little dry, drier. Megan says, and to scratching us, his backs on walls. Yes, and scratching his back on walls, Megan. Whoops. Um, Cindy says, I'm not able to find find that Dollar Tree. Okay. Yeah, maybe. I didn't think of checking Walmart. That was going to be my next one. And I even looked, Cindy, online to see if you could order them with Dollar Tree, and they don't sell them online. <laughs> um check your grocery store i got a hair on this um yeah. or maybe it's the piece of dried plastic from um that's where i found this style the red the one that was originally red i thought about um checking if you have a big lots in your town i thought about checking big lots to see if they would have them um target I'm not even going to bother, even if they have them, because Lord knows how expensive Target, as I call them, is. <laughs> um, and it's just not worth it. This one from Kroger or Baker's was only um, uh, $2.99, which still, you know, wasn't bad. I was willing to pay that to, you know, take this off. And... Okay, I'm going to attempt to get... This one I'm not so concerned. I'm going to try to get a little bit more. I'm not so concerned if it doesn't cover as well, because that's we're going to make it look distressed anyway for those just joining us we want this this is going to end up being a vase so it doesn't have to be it's okay if we see some of the black because believe it or not we're going to add oh thrift stores that is good do you think they would put those out i know that's a stupid question but uh i mean do people donate them instead of throwing them away when they're used the Dollar Tree's here in the purchase are even sold out of the 14-inch wreath forms. Yeah, I lucked out over the weekend, Cindy, and um, because I told my kids and husband that um, we were going to hit up several of them throughout the day. <laughs> Dad says, yep. <laughs> and, uh, okay, and so um, I hit up one that was um, clear east of us um, on North 30th, if anybody's here from Omaha. And um, they had a ton of them, so I grabbed like <laughs> 10. Um, Cindy says, I appreciate your secretary reading the responses to you. Yeah, I'm trying to catch them too. Um... Can you go tell him to be quiet or go into the bedroom, please? Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm going to put this a little bit thicker, see, because I don't want... 
The red showing through on this one. Like I said, we're gonna distress it, but I not 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 with red. That one can look like that. That was quick. Because we're gonna distress it with black. I just don't want the red to show through. And sorry, I'm not talking when I. It's heavy concentration to paint a turkey booster. <laughs> I guess it's okay if it goes all different directions. So what else? I guess you're pretty far from Chimney Rock, Nebraska. We are in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, I honestly don't, I know Chimney Rock's in the western part of the state, so I'm saying several hours. <laughs> um, my husband or my son could probably give you more of a, because they're out on the road all the time. Or maybe someone else on here would be able to this one's, but that's okay. I mean, it's, because it's drying as I paint it, so it's taken spots off. But we can cover those spots in the part that's not completely painted, I can put towards the back. So I'm going to, and yes, I know I have paint on my hands. I'm gonna dry this so it's, so we can do our vases here. I promise it's going to be cute. It's going to be really cute. If anybody finds any turkey basters, or I'll just, yeah, I just, I was hoping I'd be able to tell you guys another place that you could find them. But like I said, I think everybody was seeing it when I saw it online. I think other people were, two other crafters were also. Oh, thanks, Cindy. That is so very kind of you. Thank you very much. That means a lot. I thought it was just going to be wreaths, but, you know, considering not only the artisania and my name, my page name, I really do like doing crafts, and I wanted it to be able to be stuff that, not there are some that I do to sell, um, but I wanted people to be able to do you know, stuff that isn't real expensive. I'm going to, where did I put my wipes? She moved them out of my way. So I just want to get some off because we're going to be doing some other stuff. Okay. So here's what they look like so far, are two little vases. Do they look more like vases now? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Set those down. Now, we are going to, I told you we we're going to need Jenga blocks also. So, while well, those are drying before we distress those, for those of you just joining us, you can get miniature Jenga blocks. Terry found some on Web Store. Thanks, Terry. They're in bulk of 12. So they end up being $1.30 each. Wow, and those are already white. You can say thank you very much, Terry, for sharing that. Okay. Now, what these are for, these Jenga blocks, they're the mini ones. You can get them at Dollar Tree. Some of them are in a in a box of, you know, a small box. Some of them are you get double them out for the same price but this is what it's going to set on and we're going to attach to our base here so we are going to stain these also so for those of you that missed staining the boards we're going to stain it with paint and we want to spray our wood pieces first it opens up the pores now this time, I don't want to waste another bowl. I'm just going to put it here on my wax paper so I can dip in it as I do it. Now this gets more messy because you're doing... Now in these, technically, because what these are going to be used for, like I said, is a little shelf for these to sit on. Who knows if you're going to be able to see the underneath or the top or anything like that. If you're just joining us guys, say hello. We're making some little 
decor items using turkey basters as the vases. Right now I'm staining some Jenga blocks. I need to do it this way. Do you think you would ever sell kits? I just joined the Hot Mish Mom and she tells. Yes, I want to eventually sell kits, Cindy. Um, I follow the Hot Mesh Mom also. Um, you know, eventually I will get to that point for any of you wreath makers out there. Um, I need to get enough interest so I know. So, um, you know, I'm not, and maybe I'll just do a couple at a time, see how well they sell. Um, what she's asking is, you know, any of you that already follow my page, or if you're new, um, wreaths is my main craft or selling item I make. I don't think you can kind of see the bottoms of them behind me on the wall. That went well. I was trying to do them at the same time. This is... Sorry guys, I just shouldn't be quiet. I'm just trying to think of things to talk about. Monday, new week. The grade schools around here have conferences Thursday, Friday. And then all of our school district that we live in is on spring break next week. Well, I work from home, have a quote real job as my kids say. They seem to think this is only for fun. So, it'll be interesting when they're home here, you know. Yes, I have a house full of crafts that they can do too, but uh doesn't always keep them busy. Hopefully the weather will start getting nicer. Okay, I already sprayed these. And if you wanted to keep them natural, all of it, if you wanted to keep it natural, you know, or if you don't want to stain them, um, you could paint it white, just paint the whole thing white. You could paint everything black. I wanted to show you the method of staining things that I use. I'm feeling mad what I love doing wreaths just like you. That's awesome, Cindy. I'd love to see some pictures of you. You'll have to um, private message me. Do you make them just for fun? Or, I know my sister Terry's on here. She started making some wreaths. It's kind of addicting. Not kind of. It is addicting. I had just started back in October. Thought I would do them just for fun. And... You could wear disposable gloves when painting like that so you don't get under it. Yes. And me, I just... If I wasn't distressing them or making them look stained, I wouldn't worry about it. But I'm okay with the paint coming off in different spots because I find the wreath making them relaxing. Yes, me also. I'm set up in the basement here. I took over half of my husband's man cave. <laughs> Not that he minds, it just means he was, you know, watching TV for a little, and then when I went live, then he had to. He's very generous. He's very generous, yes. He, he's making me some shelves for my ribbon. He's my friend, show others how to do them. Please do private message me as I want to share with you what I have made, absolutely. I would love to see them. There are several um, wreath groups that you can follow too if you're um, a wreath designer on here. Um, you can look at some of them that I follow where you can just share them. You know, you don't have to be someone that sells them. You can get great ideas from other people, other ladies or other. Deco Exchange is one. So I've learned a lot from Deco Exchange if you're looking to learn. If you're just joining us, please let us know that you're here. I can see people popping on, but if you don't say hi, because my phone is actually sitting way over there. A little bit more paint. And that's what shows me when people pop on. 
Does that Clorox wipe hold up pretty good with the pantry? Do you have to use more than one? Does it wear down? Um, Terry, with the, um, I used to use um, the baby wipes from the Dollar Tree. Um, any baby wipes you could. It's not just because they were from the Dollar Tree. Um, and I stopped using those because the fibers on it start coming off as you're doing this, you know, from the, the friction of the wood and whatnot. Kathy Renfro's on. Hey, Kathy. Tell your husband I said hello. We miss him, seeing him. It's Renfro's wife, Trinity. Yeah. Okay. So we are currently staining, trying to do it as fast as I can for you guys. Now, because these are drying, because the other ones I did were drying, and I'm going to show you, you won't necessarily be able to get the excess off to bait. You know, so a lot of them you can see here look like they were just painted. They're not going to look like so much like they were stained. Let's get one that I did over here a while. That one doesn't look too bad. You can, there's a couple things you can do. You can respray them a little bit with the water and you can get some off. See how they, and you don't want them all to look the same. See how they look just stained. Now some of these that have a lot on them. Again, because there's a lot, get it a little wet. The other thing you can do when they're dry, I'm going to dry these here in a minute with my thing. The other thing that you can do is, and I'll show you, is use um, some sandpaper to distress them and sand them. I got a clean one here, so I'm just making them look more stained. Some of these dried too much. And if you don't want to go to all this trouble, then use actual wood stain. That obviously gets... This week, Hobby Lobby has their mesh. Yes, Cindy, thank you. I knew it was every other week. I was in there on the weekend um, getting stuff because I knew it was the last time to use Thursday to show her and make deco mesh wreaths. We'll be doing the 21 inch scrunch up bubble method wreath. Trinity, I need you to hit see more on that comment so I can see the rest of it. That will be fun. Um, I will be doing um, a more wreath tutorials. I wanted to do um, get people interested um, in the craft stuff, doing craft tutorials. See, so they, and they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to, you just want them to look. Miss Stephanie's on here. Hi, Miss Stephanie. Not a wreath tonight, we're doing a craft. But I still hope you like it. I am currently staining some miniature Jenga blocks with brown paint and wet wipes. You'll have to go back and rewatch, Miss Stephanie, to see how I did it. Getting some of the excess off. See, it's still because I got a new wipe, guys. Yeah, we've got to go up to Target to see Miss Stephanie. Yes. I was going to do it that weekend. I did the tutorial and it didn't happen. See, if you have a new wipe that's more wet, and again, you're not going to see much of these because this is what our little turkey baster, I guess, and no, all they're sitting there in front of me. You can see them. Our little turkey baster vases are going to sit on. Oop, I got it in my white paint. Okay, I think... These will be okay. I don't want to take up too much time staining. Thanks, Miss Stephanie. Make sure you sprinkle, which is the new S H A R E, either on your own pay on your own personal page or the craft page that you follow. Okay. Now I'm gonna dry these quick a little bit. Make sure you say hello as you pop in. I see people popping in, and I want to be able to say hi to you. That one got some white on it. We'll do that on the underneath. 
Oh, I didn't even get that one. Sorry guys, totally missed one here. Look, see how quick it is. Get that one. So, like I said, the kids will be on spring break next week. Have to entertain them, or hopefully the weather. Nothing to do. Well, but yeah, they never, ever have anything to do. Miss Stephanie works in the school district. She knows how that goes. They never have anything to do, right, Miss Stephanie? Bored. Always bored. I'm sure I could give them plenty to do. Like what? Chores. I just did chores. <laughs> You heard my husband talking to our oldest, mm -hmm. oldest boy that lives out of the house, so I don't know, he's getting a little heated. Not that they were arguing, but <laughs> no, hopefully it's nothing too, too serious. Okay, so those are stained, and this is why I'm going to... This can be set aside. I'm going to get a new wax paper. It's just what I do. Okay, so here is our stained pieces that we did. They're nice and dry. I think they look pretty good for using brown paint. Now, what I thought we would do is I'm going to have them go two different directions. And again, you don't have to. So, I was thinking this one on this size, and we're going to do more to these vases. Everything okay? Yeah. What did I say? That one this way? Or no? Or this one? What do you guys think? The short, fat one or the tall one? This one? And let's I see think what you said the tall, the tall one the long, long way. way. The tall, Bye. skinny one, the long way? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So, that one's going to go on that. That one's going to go on this. And yes, we're going to distress these. That one's going to go this way. So, we need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for each one. And this is what we're going to do. This is where your glue gun's going to come in handy. So, we are going to glue four and four, just like this, okay? For each one. Usually what I do is I'm gonna do these ones first. Just put a strip of glue on there. Not too much, I kinda got a lot on there. Cause it's gonna, you don't want it too much to ooze out, but if it oozes out on the bottom, that's okay. Okay, there's those two. Do two. This is going to be our shelf that our turkey baster vases are going to sit on. Which way was that, Terry? With the long, skinny one going up and down? Sorry, you guys are delayed from when I'm doing it. Okay, so we went four and four. Long and skinny. Remember Dollar Tree has glue guns too, so you can get almost everything there. Oh, do they? Yeah, I haven't tried those. I'm sure, but you know, and again, if it doesn't last long, it's a buck. So thank you, Terry, for sharing that. And it is, if you've noticed, maybe even in town, um, if you hit up lots of Dollar Trees for supplies or crafts, um, then you've noticed different locations sell different things. Yes, long, skinny, up and down. Okay. Which doesn't make sense. Um, well, it does because it's the different areas of town. I oh, think yeah. it's think it's all coming from corporate, what they want to. Didn't think about that. <laughs> and you could always ask, you know, and some of them, I don't know about you guys, when you go into the Dollar Trees, are they messy or certain locations messy or just absolutely trashed? It makes me so angry when Nasty. it's, we had one that opened up that is the one that is, well, probably not closest to my house, second closest to my house. And it was amazing when they first opened up. 
and we went in there and it was great, which I know any store is that way, but now it seems to just be getting worse and worse as it I goes along. So you've got your two fours and fours. Now we're going to do it like this, okay? Me? Run it along there. Miss Stephanie definitely agrees with you. And this weekend when we were out, and there will be, and I'm not going to call out, you know, places, but again, I'm sure in your t in every city, every every state, ev everywhere, there's parts of town that are good and bad, or parts that people consider good and bad. Ooh, and I would say who? Bonnie Bilion. Hi, Bonnie. Art's down here too. He's just not on camera. Say hello. Now we're going to do it for this side again. Four and four. <laughs> Um, but you, you would automatically assume or people assume that the not so well off or the poorer parts of town, I don't know how to say, I'm, I'm trying to be respectful because I don't have issues with any of the areas. Boy. Okay. As art, my husband says the ghetto yeah. areas. Thank you. you. And you know, there is one in the, the that's kind of centrally located here in Omaha that is trashed beyond belief. I hate going there um, because I'm not going to say no, no, no. Don't say. <laughs> um, because and I just don't. I found some things there, but it literally looks like a tornado went through it. And then this weekend we hit up a new one because there were some that I haven't I haven't gone to. She said, "Hey, Primo, Bonnie." Primo. You're gonna get on and wave. I'll make my presence. He's making his presence. <laughs> Be my <laughs> husband for everybody that doesn't know him. Um, and I complimented them on how nice their store looked. Um, it was straightened. Um, that even if and it's not even that you know if the shelves were were empty. Obviously, any store. No matter what kind of store it is. You know, it doesn't even it matter on bigger. size. It was bigger. Which, but, um, and so I told her, they need to hear that. It makes them feel good. It's it makes... Um, I told her, I said, for what it's worth, this store looks, is better. it's very clean. I'm very impressed. And when I told her what store I was referencing that I thought was trashed... Wouldn't you know it, she said, they talk about us all the time because of the area of town that they're in, and they have bad things to say about them. And I said, well, so Amber Strong, I throw her name out a lot because I've learned a lot from her. That it's just under her name is her page, Amber Strong. And she had said, they want to be praised, and if it's bad enough, I almost did it tonight when Art and I were hitting up some other Dollar Trees trying to find turkey basters. Um, lost my train of thought. Um, squirrel, um, <laughs> take pictures and send it to corporate because yeah. there's so... Okay, i got to redo this one. There's so many... Corporate doesn't know. They don't know what's going on. Both the good one, that one I put... See, if you put too much glue on it, um, it's going to... It, the way it dries, then it's bubble in it. So we're just going to redo these. They need to. They need to hear. It. They, corporate needs to hear it. You know, and if they see you in there taking some pictures, or maybe if you talk a little too lot like me, believe it or not, chuckles under the breath from the people that know me. Yep. I'm not a quiet person in the store. As far as if I want somebody to hear something that I'm not happy with. So maybe as you're taking some pictures, you can say whoever you're with, preferably if you're with somebody. So yeah, I wonder what corporate will have to say if the store will get cleaned up once I send these pictures to them, especially since it's only maybe been open for a couple months or it's only been open for, I think a lot of it is whether the manager running the store likes their job or not. True. And the people working for them, I'm not saying anything against younger, you know, I got a almost 16 year old that's going to be looking for a job. There's 16 year olds that take pride in their job and like what they do. As well as ones that don't just like there's 
45 year olds, I'm 47 years old, there's 47 year olds that don't like their job and couldn't give two poos less what they do. They're going there for a paycheck or not and they don't put, you know, and I'm sure Miss Stephanie on here works in retail <laughs> part time. And I, I know she knows what I'm talking about. So we have our two, there's there's eight pieces, okay? Four and four. And this is what our shelf is gonna be. So the one that we're doing this way, which we agreed was gonna be, the, and the reason I did them like that and did them longer is because, so it can sit, see what it's gonna be. Oh my God, this is so cute. So I think if we kind of, we don't want it quite in the middle. So I think what I'm gonna do, since I don't know exactly where, I am going to put it on here first. And then stick it on, I think, up there. And you don't want to push down on the top part too hard because then they'll break apart. Break apart. Thank you, Dakota. <laughs> now, this one, you could do it this way. Let's see. I personally think it comes out too far. Yeah. yeah, it comes out too far. So this one's going to go the same way. Like I said, we'll see how this all comes. Looks As I was frantically trying things out before I started the live, I knew some of it. Because I don't make these ahead of time, guys. I don't have, I can't find enough turkey basters to do that. Crooked. How cute. Now, what we want to do, because even though these aren't going to be heavy, I pulled out some extra turkey ba turkey basters. I don't have extra turkey <laughs> basters, guys. I pulled out some extra Jenga blocks. And I'm just going to put, you, you don't need to paint them. You can if you want to. But I'm just going to glue it underneath here to kind of reinforce it a little bit. Um, you know, because it sticks out farther. This is farther than... I think I love them. Terry, you love everything I do. <laughs> and I hope it's not just because you're required to as my sister. Probably. Probably. Oh, it's <laughs> just because she likes them. So we're going to put that on there, if you can see, to, to reinforce it there. Again, um, you can swipe the comments away if need be, if you can't see what I'm doing. Swipe them to the right. get it on here before I turned it the wrong way I put the glue I gotta do a different one guys because I was stupid rolling your eyes Aunt Terry let's see oh. this one that would be my husband's phone on this side I put it on the wrong okay so that was my experience with the stores I think it's the same way with I've never come across a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels that's trashed or dirty, so I can't say that the different parts of town, you know, obviously the... So there's our two, and it's got a little bit little bit of reinforcement there on the bottom, okay? So we're going to set those aside again. Now, what we're going to do... Now, this one you can tell because I wasn't real worried with it, um, all of the black showing up. Mary Parrish is on. Hi, Mary. Say hello. Um... But we're still going to, so this is where the black comes in. You can use a paintbrush if you want, or you can just, I use my finger. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to get some on my finger, and you're going to, like, this one has the ridges on it. I'm just going to, and we'll, we'll, we'll sand some of it off. I got a little bit too much on it, but it's okay, you know, it's... He was under the blankets. He was See, we're just kind of, and I'm going to rub some out. of it off. If you want to do it around this edge part, I think I'll put some. So, yes, it was black underneath, but you want it to look, you know, when something's aged or weathered. If you want to put some little streaks of black up here towards, I mean, we're going to do something else up at the top. 
see, like so. Okay, set that one there. We are gonna do a little bit more to it again. We're gonna, on this one, I think we're just gonna do, I don't know so much want to do right on the band. We're gonna do it, I mean, you're gonna get some on there because you, if you're using your finger. I'm gonna go around it here. And if you wanna use the small paint, 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 the uh, paintbrush, paint I just feel like I've got more control with my finger when I do it. Miss Darlene Stanford. Welcome, welcome. Make sure you say hello when you pop on so we know you're here. Thank you for being here. I know it looks kind of sloppy as it's first going on, but we're going to make it look better. And you can put it wherever you think, you know, you're, it, it's your own creation, your own design. You just want it to look weathered or, you know, distressed. Oh, got a big blob there. That's fine. I'll take care of that. You can put some up at the top if you want. Okay. Okay. Now I am going to wipe my hands off just because I don't want to get... Let me get your glass cleaner. Try no, I'm not going <laughs> to. No, we'll try that later. Okay, so we just distressed our little turkey baster. Let's get a paper towel. So. And again, so the black makes it look like the paint is coming off a little, but we don't want it to look, to me, I think the white looks too perfect. Where is my sandy thing, Trinity? You cleaned okay. everything up. Sorry, guys. These you can get at Dollar Tree also. I like how they look. They look old and weathered. Yes. So then what you can do with these, if you don't want... Oh, that's going to... That's fine. I didn't even think about it. It's going to take it off down to the red. That's okay. It's still going to be weathered. Didn't even think about it. I was wanting to get some of the black off. It just makes it look more weathered, I think. See how it started taking up, which obviously, because I wasn't thinking, but that's well, okay. that's okay. Everyone it's still it. weathered. You can brush it across the black so it's not... The reason I didn't use the wipe to do it is because that, ooh, then it would just smear the black and it's gonna end up looking gray instead. And I didn't want it to look gray. See? You just do some of those. I it, And you can do just, I think I should leave it. I say I'm gonna leave it alone and then I keep doing it. So we're making it just look a little bit more worn and weathered it can be one of those now this one I just didn't want the black on it to be as bright again I didn't want to use the wet wipe because it would make it gray and this is taken this one it's okay if it takes some of the paint off because underneath it's black so I probably could have just done that instead of like so. That makes it weathered. You can do some more down here if you want. Yeah, but I like it when it's distressed and the, right, and the red's coming through. Yeah, it's, it looks like a terracotta pot or something. Uh -huh. that... Okay. I'm sorry, I brought something home from pottery. Look weathered. And again, I said, now I can say with this one, it's a little bit, it, it's flimsier. It's not as solid as the black one, this one that I got from Baker's. So I think that's why it's, I'm having to push a little bit harder to get it. I think I'm going to leave it. Okay. Okay. So we are done with the paint. 
for now. Okay, so let's do our tall one first. So we decided this one was going to go on there. You see that? Like oh, so. No, it's not going to fall off because we're going to paint it. We're going <sighs> to. These would make cute Mother's Day gifts or Mayday flower vases. Oh, Mayday, yes. If you want to just hand them out like that, absolutely. Farther up in the comments, Terry was kind enough to see because a lot of us, me and as well as other people, are having a hard time finding um, the turkey basters from Dollar Tree. So she um, added a link, a place she found. You can get a case, 12 of them. They work out to $1.30 a piece, which I think is great. So that's how it's, we're going to go ahead. Put the glue on the bottom of this. Now, if you want it all the way back, you can. I don't want mine all the way back. I want it to look like it's sitting on the shelf. So I'm going to put it, that's the other reason I made these thicker. Instead of, originally I was going to do just one row of the Jenga blocks. But this way it looks like it's sitting on an actual shelf. So it can dry. I don't want to lay it down because I'm afraid it'll fall. Same with this one. <gasps> can't go out quite as far because it's fatter. I probably could have done, I didn't want to do another another row of Jenga blocks because I think it would have been too far out, too far out and it would end up, end up being too heavy. Okay, we're gonna put it on like so. Pull it out just a little bit. finger in there to press it down so it's oop, it's on there like so okay I'm gonna just fold this over because I don't want the paint to get I gotta get a drink guys Okay, now, flowers. Now, I pulled several different ones out. You guys can help me. I'm torn on which ones to use. So, this is too tall. Let me show you. We have these. Obviously, they're artificial. Baby's Breath. It's a bundle of them that I got. If you watched, or you can go back and watch the video um, from this weekend when um, I said, um, if you have an at-home store, they have amazing artificial flowers that look real. So this is some Baby's Breath from that. So this is what the Baby's Breath. See, you can put it down. Look at that. Isn't that precious? Mm -hmm. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Or you could even add some, obviously, you know, some of these need to be cut down. Now, let's cut down the yellow, and I can show you what that looks like. Let's see. We'll do it in this one. And maybe we want to do different in each one. Yeah, see, I like that. You like that? Yeah, I like it with yellow. You do that, you know, you can kind of you do one of each. Because what I was thinking, what I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys how to is one of them, the way I'm gonna do it is one of them is gonna be a wall hanger, and one of them is going to be hanging. So you could do them like this. Um, I'm not a wall. They're both going to be wall hangers, but I was going to do one where you can just hang it just like this, one's gonna and I'll show it. you how to put the attachment on the back, something super easy. And one's gonna, I'm going to show you how to stain a hanger. Do we want them to have the same color flowers or different? Let's see. Now. We can see what it looks like. Different. Right. We could mix. I do have these. Oh, I thought you meant mixed colors. Yes, maybe. I'm trying to figure it out. So, oh, okay. sorry guys, this is one thing I did. You don't know until you get it done. 
You could put some yellow. And Terry says she likes the different flowers. The different flowers. Do we mix them in the same one? Let's see. Let me stick it in here. A mix of white and yellow. Everyone's liking the different colors. You could correspond, correspond them so they look uh, good on the wall or wherever you put them. Yeah, and I'm not gluing these in because if you want to switch them out, you could. Different flowers, body says. See, so you can. Yeah, you could switch them out. Nobody. Yeah, if you don't glue them because they sit in the right, they're not going to go anywhere, you know, and you can. Even if you wanted to, sometimes they bend, you know, if you want it to look like it's droop, not drooping, but you know. The one that will hang lower will look great with the taller flower and then shorter flowers on the top, maybe. The one that will hang lower. So the one that's lower, what are you saying, will look great with the taller flower. Okay, so if this one's going to be down, so let's switch them. That's a taller flower, like that. And we were gonna put some white in too, right? Yeah. Sorry guys, this is the part that I wasn't sure of until I had the vases done. That kind of was too short, but so it's got this taller part. This is the one that I'm thinking is Okay, and then this one, <laughs> is that too tall? No? What if I... A little bit. It's too tall? Looks like it's sticking out the top a little bit too much. Let me take this out. There. What do we think? Yay, nay, yay. Love this. They look beautiful. Thanks, Kenzie. Okay. So that's what our flowers are going to be. I'm not going to glue them because I want to be able to switch them out. You could glue them. They're, they're not going to go anywhere. Um, you can switch them out for different, you know, do what you want. So, I guess they're glued so I can my notes. get my flowers out of the way. I'm all about doing extra things. You could, okay, I got to see something quick. Ah, yeah, not yet. Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> no, you didn't know. Maybe it'll be too much. You know what? Did you make it look like that there's something on the bottom, like it's hanging on the bottom? Yay, nay, Trinity's idea. Put some little greenery on there. What do you think? That I would glue. I don't know, because it could go could go over here, and you could try. Oh, because I think it would be too much on the back. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. After we get the other. It may end up being too much, because this is what we're going to do, too. Okay. Where are Here it is. So, twine. You can get this twine. You can get two different kinds of twine at Dollar Tree. Um, what did I do with my other skinny one, Trinity? Second. Underneath that. Oh, found it. They've got two. They've got this one that's in with the arts and crafts, and then they've got this one that's with the automotive. I use both depending on one of this one's, it, because it's with the, it's, it's a little bit softer type of twine. And then this is the heavier that I use for, um, you know, my hangers and whatnot. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I was thinking, I'm going to cut some of this off. This one has more of a neck. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Is tying this around. Actually, what I want to do is I want, and it's coming off already. What? I gotta re-glue it. 
it's not staining. You want to use the dab? It's probably because the paint was on there. Oh yeah, paint. So I'm gonna glue it again. Sorry okay. guys. One, nope. One, moment, like One moment, please. One moment, please. So this is what I was thinking. We'll see if it happens with this one too. So far it's not. I'm gonna take my flowers out. Is we would glue it. This is what I wanna do. We'd wrap it a couple times. We'll glue it as it's going. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. One moment, please. Um, something else I have to get. My kids call them, get your condom on. Finger condoms. Finger condoms, you can get these on Amazon. They actually, I found now, they've got them at um, Dollar Tree. They're like three in a pack, and it's so you don't burn yourself. I'm gonna put a little bit on here to get it started. That's gonna look so good. Take that off while I'm doing this. Yes, finger condoms on Amazon or? Yes, you can get them on Amazon. I will post a link after um, I am an affiliate with Amazon. Um, it means I get a small commission if you buy off of there. I'm not saying that because you have to. Um, but I just, I get everything on Amazon so it ships to the house. Okay, and I'm going to, I'm just going to go, I can always cut the excess. going to put a little piece there. Then you're not screaming bloody murder like I do. Okay. And then. I'm using, you can do, the stuff that I make when I show you guys, you don't have to do the colors that I'm doing. I put it up in my house 95% of the time when I'm making something. Um, so I can't decide if I want to do, either one of these will go. I've been putting um, stuff, I'm trying to make a little display in my kitchen. My kitchen is red, black, and gray. gray, gray. <laughs> Either one of these would go with that. Um, what do you think, Trinity? Because uh, okay. um, I think if it's with the yellow, it'll look... Um, I'm going to do black and white. More spring. Okay, i got to take my pin out of here. Because I'm going to put a little bow in the front. I don't want to leave it like that because it's going to be... And I'm going to show you, if you don't already know... how to make a support bow or a cause bow. If you fold, you know, like the, the cancer and the, the support ribbons, cancer awareness. cancer awareness or the other, and yes, I know my fingers are filthy. If you do it like that and then you take this loop, I did it wrong, cross it this way. <laughs> cross it so they're crossed in the front and you bring your loop down. It makes a perfect bow. Makes a perfect bow. Sometimes you have to fidget with it a little. If you're not good at making it, you know, especially when it's this this tiny. Okay, and then we're gonna take a little piece of this. We're gonna wrap it around. Kenzie put the thing on there. Thank you, Kenzie. She was my uh, typer. My typer last week when I did the tutorial. So we're gonna tie this. Here's how I'm using my teeth in the middle. I'll show you. And we can adjust it so it's not so. Now what I do, okay, so you can adjust it, pull these down a little. Now, because we already have that on there, 
I'm going to go ahead and wrap this so I don't have to cover up that twine. I'm going to cut one of them off. But I'm going to wrap this around and glue it. <laughs> Cut our excess off. Sorry, guys. It would suck if you cut the whole thing. Yes, it would suck if I totally. And I know <laughs> the tails are on. I want to get it on there first to see. Okay. Oh my God. That's going to be so cute. Oh, this is your capped your bottle. Yeah, it's capped my water bottle. So don't throw it away. Put that on there. It's almost kind of cute with the long ones, but I don't want to leave it that long. So I think. Right there. Guys, 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 guys. Y'all. I'm not from the South, and I say it all the time. <laughs> Y'all. Oh, my gosh. Look. Oh, my goodness. How cute is that? Out of a turkey baster. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to set that one there. Now, this one, I wasn't sure. Should I... Do just the twine on this one. I think this one I'm going to do. And take these out. Gorgeous. Put a little dab of glue. A little dab will do ya. <laughs> and I know this is kind of running long. And I was trying, but it was a longer craft because we're doing two. You can always come back and watch it later. I'd have to use my dab on this one because it's a different kind of plastic. Yeah, it's coming up again. I'm gonna grab my dab for me. Okay, this is coming off anyway, so I'm gonna take it off. Don't worry, guys, we're gonna be able to fix it. Okay, this is open. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. I can get this off without ruining my shelf. See, again, it was a thinner plastic. I told you because it's a different, different turkey baster. So I'm getting this big hunk because I, I did it twice. So if you watch me make my wreaths, there's this stuff called dab glue. Um, it's better than super glue. It's better than E6000 because um, it dries in 30 seconds or less. Um, it dries so well, the cap is so, I do this. And I use a little, I'm gonna use this because it's not sticking. You guys could use super glue and just, you know, but when you got people watching and you don't want them having to wait, I'm gonna put a lot, a lot on there. Put it in the same spot. I'm gonna hold it just for a second. Oh, guys. Told you. I was doing it right along with you. Okay, now this one, instead of a bow, I might add the bow later. We'll see what this looks like. I thought just do the bunny ear bow just like you're tying your shoes the bunny ears see what it looks like if we put one of those on there we're just adding our extras 
Maybe it won't be enough. Is there a game on yellow? I don't know what they're yelling at. Okay, guys. Yeah, I think that'll look, because it looks more of a, not Western, but more of a ceramic type. This is what I'm doing. Put this on there. No going back now. Nope. Yeah, I think that looks really cute. Okay, whoops. Flowers back in there. That's over here. Get this guy up here like he was. Look at that. No. Oh! Okay, you can do it like that, you know, whichever oh, yeah. way. I like okay, that. so. What we are going to do, this is the one that I'm gonna hang, have no hanger on. I'm gonna show you guys an easy way. It still won't stick. What won't stick? This stupid turkey baster that's the different <laughs> plastic. Don't they say you gotta talk nice words to it to make it work? Or yeah, something? you gotta come on. Encourage it or something. Like, Unless you wanna try this new glue. Let's see how that does. I'm gonna set that up there. So for a hanger on the back, super easy way to do this. Popsicle sticks. This is what you needed the popsicle sticks for. Put glue on one. And put it on the back, kind of towards the top. Get it on there straight before it dries. And it doesn't matter. You can take that sticker off if you want to. And then you're going to take another one. It still came off. I'm just having a heck of a time with that. I'm going to have to get it to set later. And you're going to put it part of the way down, like so. I don't know if you guys can tell. So then when it dries... It's like a mini stair. You guys, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on camera. See the little lip underneath there? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. So then when you hang it, there you go. You've already got that little nail right there, or a little ledge there for your nail. This thing's gonna piss me off. Hey, hey. <laughs> I think it's because I keep fiddle farting with it. Yeah, you just leave it alone. Oh my god. So we're gonna let that sit there. And dry. These are in here. This one will be done. Sorry, guys. Okay. This is in here. Okay. So that's that one. Okay. Now this one, be patient with me. Too far up. over okay this is what we're gonna do we're doing our beads this one we're gonna make a hanger for oh, so you using this? I forgot about it I was gonna put some raffia on with the bow and I forgot so set that aside so these are the 16 millimeter you can get these on Amazon also I don't know how many I'm gonna need so I'm just gonna I don't want to pour that many because it'll take too long I'm gonna show you how to stain these also Okay, so 
Same thing as we did before. Where's my water? Here's my water bottle. Put them in there. Put a little bit more water on it that with this time. Move, please. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Put this in there. That was kind of a lot, but that's okay. And we're gonna shake. Where'd everybody go? Nobody's talking. I kind of said she could see the light. I think it's because I have a pen. Hello. There we go. There you go. Okay. So, yes, they look wet and good. Yeah, so. See how easy that was? Paper towels. I keep taking my stuff. Thank you. Uh -huh. Some paper towel. I'm going to put them right out on it. Okay. Kind of roll them a little. You see that, guys? I rubbed that one a little bit too much. They're almost like cat eyes. Do you see? I'm gonna dry them. Kind of hurry. <laughs> It's yes, great. they may roll. Chocolate peanuts. <laughs> yeah, they do. Because they're going to roll and I can't keep my hand there because I'm going to burn my hand. You can make like a little, little pouch. There you go. Then they won't roll anywhere. Keep them dried. This is a super easy way to do it. Still a little wet. So now this is when, see, isn't that cool? They look stained. I use the heavy, you don't have to use the heavy, I use the heavier twine because I'm using the hanger, but you can use both for the same thing. Doesn't matter. A little bit of glue on the tip. No, I don't need this. Is, it's just to. So it doesn't fray, oh. and you can put it through the, the hole. Yep. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking, guys. Is because I don't want it's a lot of stain, so we are going to. And again, those were the 16 millimeter. These are the 12 millimeter, and I'm not going to stain these ones. See how it looks. You could always, you can do the same process with any color. I've stained, I've stained beads black. Um, you can do them white. Um, I've done them uh, blue when I did um, uh, some uh, name signs. So we got a stained. See, and I put too much glue on it. Sorry, guys. Got too much glue on it. <laughs> yeah. Can you get it there? Yeah. I don't know. Yes, I want a snack. No, I don't want a snack. I'm sure you hear about it here in your house, too. I think this will look cute. See? Don't you think? So we'll alternate them. Oh, yeah, I like that. We'll see how much we need. I purposely wanted to hang the one that's up and down. I don't know if I'm going to do a, I don't know if I'm going to do another craft tomorrow night or if I'm going to do a wreath tutorial. I may pop on and do a wreath tutorial. Pam Smith is on. Hi, Pam. We're finishing up here. This doesn't have to be super long. 
This is just to do the hanger on the other one and only if you want it. If you want to put the back on both of them. Okay, let's see where we're at with this. Maybe just a little bit longer. I'm going to do a, you can watch from the beginning to see what we made these little pot holders out of. It is a turkey baster, believe it or not. Starting to unravel, so we'll see, get a few more on here. Like I said, I'm going to, I'm thinking tomorrow, I'll post in the morning. I have wreaths to make. So I can always, for customers, so I can always make it a tutorial. Um, <laughs> I think this will be, that'll be good. Okay, so, gotta see if I can do this. You guys aren't gonna be able to see it, so I'll do it this way. So what I'm doing is you want the bead to be right there. Let's see where I want it. I want it right at the edge. I'm going to put it as close to the edge as I can. Put your line of glue. Where'd my finger go? Okay. Sorry guys, I'm doing this backwards so you can see it. I don't want to lay it down because I don't want my pot to come off. I'm going to do the same with this side. glue this on we might need to do those up at the top just so they don't we'll see what it looks like I think I'm gonna put a little bit of glue there and yes I have to get used to talking when I'm crafting guys it's hard for me to do that Yes, Kenzie, you can see Bayer Trinity. It's a learning curve. This is my first craft live, so thank you for being patient with me, guys. I stand a little bit too many beads, but that's okay. You can use them for other things. Get all of our strings off. Oh my gosh. What do you think, guys? So we've got one that's going to hang. When it's against the wall, it obviously, you know, it's not going to lean forward. So let me do that. Can you tell like this? My fingers are dirty. I don't want to do that. So you got the <laughs> one that's going to hang, and you got the one, maybe do like this, I think, and the one that's going to sit up on a shelf. Yeah, I really like that. How stinking cute is that? And you can switch. We did not glue these in. So you can switch those out. If you want to glue them in, you can glue them in. If you don't want to, then you can switch them out with the different seasons. So now you've got, sorry, I keep doing it backwards. <laughs> Thanks, Kenzie. Thanks, Terry. So that's about it, guys. I know it was kind of, you know, I might add a button here. If you don't want, you know, you can kind of see the glue spot there. You can always put, if you have a collection of buttons, I think every crafter has a collection of um, buttons. 
Um, oh, no, you're fine, Miss Stephanie. You can always go back and watch it. But this is this is what we came up with, our turkey baster flour. You know, ever, pretty much everything came from the Dollar Tree, except these black, back pieces of wood. But you can find something there. Use the back of a picture frame. Um, some of this stuff, I should have pulled it out. You know, if you want to do, if you have a bigger piece of wood, um, the wood puzzles, um, you know, the wood puzzles at the Dollar Tree, if you ever come across those in the kids' section, obviously that's like eight and a half by 11. Um, snag those, who cares what the backside, take all those off and you can use that, um, the backside um, and put two of them on there. You can stagger them on that piece of wood if that's the only wood. Um, excuse me, you can use um, a picture frame, the backside of a picture frame. Anything that you maybe can take apart if you can't, if you, you can't find these. I got these pieces at uh, Michael's. So that was it, guys. That is tonight's tutorial. I will get a picture tonight and get it posted with a link to the video if you want to go back and watch it. And so we um, get a better how it looks. Thanks, Pam. Thanks, Mary. I'm so glad you guys could join uh, join me. If you end up making them, please share on my page. Um, it was great having you guys all here with me tonight. It was fun. Um, I will post in the morning if I'm um, going to... Oh, thanks, Bonnie. Well, the family's there and being involved. They are. Trinity likes helping me out, so um, it was fun. Um, Yes, I'll post in the morning on what I'm going to do if it's going to be another craft or I'm, I'm leaning towards the wreath thing so I don't get bored or um, you guys don't get bored with consecutive. So have a great night. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you tomorrow night. Thanks, guys.